Hey, this is Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, a SmartSuite implementation partner. Now, when you're first coming over to SmartSuite, one of your first questions is probably, how do I get the data that I have in other business applications inside of SmartSuite? And SmartSuite has a lot of data import features to make this really easy for you. The easiest way to start importing data is actually with copy and paste features. So if I have some sort of structured data, like in a spreadsheet, I can copy the data that I have, go over in the SmartSuite, click into a new cell, paste, and then I've got the option to expand this view and watch this. This actually pulls the data in. It knows how to format special fields like single and multi-selects. We even have linked records that we're able to link to from this process. And it's just a couple of clicks. Now, if you need something more sophisticated, you can click into the app that you have, click on import data, and you've got some different options here. We're gonna do a CSV import. And from here, we can click to import a spreadsheet. Now, if we don't know the structure of the data that we need, we can always download an Excel template to let us know which fields that we can populate. From here, we can click to import that spreadsheet, choose it on our machine, and then it uploads those records. We can see a preview of this here in terms of the fields and the records that it's going to import. We've got the option to actually update existing records. So not only can it pull in new records, but we can do an update by finding the unique field that we want to be able to match against. We click the next button. And this is going to make it really easy. It's going to try to auto map the fields that we need to be able to do data imports. And so in this case, because I already use that template, it knows which fields to use. But I can also map it to my own field that I want to be able to use here if I have other fields in the table. Or we can actually add a brand new field and choose the data type. So we don't have to go back and forth between our grid view and what we're doing in the import in order to make that happen. And at this point, now we have the validation step. So if there's data that it knows is not going to import correctly, it's going to throw an error. And this is going to give you the opportunity. You could click and make changes that you want. You could do find and replace rules to simplify this process if you have a lot of different fields that need their data updating. But this makes it really easy then rather than just failing out when we do the import, now we've got the signals to us to say, hey, you better fix this before we actually proceed with the import. From here, you can actually conduct the import and get that data coming into your system. For those of you with more sophisticated use cases for data imports, SmartSuite has connectors both for Make and for Zapier. In addition to that, SmartSuite's API is always available. So you can click up at the top here and we can choose our solution API. And what I love is that it auto generates this documentation, not just generic for everybody, but it's actually creating it based on your solution. And then based on all the tables you're creating, all the custom fields that you're adding. So you can take this, go ahead and test in Postman, build your own integration if you wanna take data and be able to import it inside of the system. Whether your needs are simple and you can copy and paste all the way through needing an API, you've got the flexibility to be able to import your data inside of the system.